In this short video I'd like to talk about how to set auto propagate, about segment statuses and about how to perform a concordance search. Before start, starting to proofread, uh, we highly recommend you to check that your auto-propagate settings are set to 99%. This is to avoid that fuzzy matches are being auto-propagated or copied into other segments without being real exact matches and this is causing problems later. To choose the auto-propagate settings, go to File options. In the editor section choose auto propagation and check the following tick boxes. Enable auto propagation, set the value to 99%, tick auto propagate exact matches to confirm segments, tick confirm segment after auto propagating an exact match and also choose in the section prompt user always when auto propagating a segment and then you click OK. The next important thing is the segment status. You will see different values for the segments and you are responsible as a proofreader for all of them or almost all of them. We do not ask our translators to check any match values above 95% coming from the TM because this will be the resp responsibility of the proofreader. So it's highly important that you see here these values for example 81% and 86% this is something the, res the translator is responsible for so if there are any mistakes this is something you take into account when rating his the quality of his translation his or her. Um, the 100% matches and the CM matches, for example here, they are not the responsibility of the translator, but please do also check them. In many cases, or for most of our customers, we do lock the CM, the context matches, and therefore do not ask you to change anything there normally. If, however, you do see a major mistake, please do check with us if in doubt. And if it's very obvious, then please feel free to unlock the segment by just right-clicking on it and choosing Unlock Segment. So you can then edit the segment. The next point is the concordance search. When you are connected to a, an online TM above all, because this will contain all of the translation segments ever done, um, you can do a concordance search to just check any uh, the translation of any terms, for example, in previous projects you may not be aware of. So if you have a doubt, for example, in this one, in this sentence which the, there was no match here so the translator translated from zero basically and you say okay this one is that really does that stay in English so you would go to the original column here highlight the term or terms you're looking for and then press F7 to see all the instances in the translation memory where one for one would appear. And in this case that gives you the um, security that this has always been left in English. And that's it for today. Thanks a lot for joining in again. Bye bye.